Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Stitches and Stencils. Now this is a series that I do with MK and Janet and I am super excited to be doing that with you guys today. I have an idea uh, to use a stencil and this 6x6 six six piece of paper and a 6x8 six page protector. So I have an idea. I hope it works. I've got the plan. That is the important thing, right? And before I do that, I am way behind on my advent calendar. So let's open that together. So I have this one for um, day 21. Let's make sure just everything's out of there. All right, we have a road trip and some film strip. Not something I'm going to be using in my December project, but that is completely okay. Definitely just something fun. Day 22. I'm going to open that one, and that is Grandma's recipe and a baking uh, thing. I will probably use this baking thing in my album. Not Grandma's recipe, though, um, because we don't call anyone Grandma. So that's not going to work in my album here. And then day 23, which is today. So today, we have our family recipe and also some cute uh, little embellishments. There's like a muffin tin and a spoon. So these are super, super cute. All right. Got my album. Got my stencil got my sewing machine. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys. So because of the plan that I have, I actually have to do 14 and 15 at the same time. And that is because I am going to be um, sealing my page protector. I'm using a full page page protector. So six by eight I am doing the back side first. I should have done the front side first. I should have done my stitches and stencils part of the layout first because, you know, the stuff had to dry, but your girl didn't think about that, did she? Um, and it is the 23rd on the evening. Uh, let's be very clear. I hardly ever pre-record, you guys. I am usually scrapbooking or doing the thing daily and posting it. Um, one because I like scrapbooking every day. Um, and two, because I don't generally take a lot of time to just sit down and scrapbook for hours and get multiple layouts done. Uh, most of the time I end up scrapbooking um, just enough, uh, just enough time to get a layout or a project done. Um, and especially this time of year, there, there is no, there is no ahead. Right? There is no ahead. I'll probably be scrapbooking on Christmas Day. So anyway, Merry Christmas Eve Eve, which is a thing. Um, now, I know last year uh, we did Christmas Eve Eve. We had steak and lobster tails. Um, this year, um, yeah, I came home and took like two naps after work today. So we did not do a lot of cooking. Um, Lana did some baking. Uh, Chloe went out with a friend. Um, yeah, kind of, kind of a low key kind of chill day for this Christmas Eve Eve. Anyway, I decide that I am going to journal on the number 15 side. So I've got to prep that. I'm going to use this dotted Swiss vellum and I just, uh, heat emboss the outside with some Raven embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. You guys know I love me some Brutus Monroe embossing powder. So I go ahead and get that down there and then um, I get that adhered down. I'm going to add one of these sparkly little Christmas trees because I think that they're super fun and my book needs a sparkly little Christmas tree, you guys. Um, I'm going to add a couple of um, labels here. Oh man, I just realized I didn't use any Nouveau Deluxe adhesive. I was going to um, adhere these down a little bit harder with the Nouveau Deluxe since I sealed it inside of a pocket and I just remembered it now. It's fine. 
it falls apart, it falls apart. It, it's just the way it is. Um, I am going to journal uh, on this page, and you would not know what I'm journaling about by the decorations, that it isn't thematic or anything like that, other than it is Christmas. Um, so I have um, been listening to two different holiday music stations on Sirius XM Satellite Radio. Um, I listen to 71, which is uh, holiday classics, and I listen to 79, which is Holly, which is like the modern uh, music. Now, there are songs on both of those channels that I cannot stand, and I switch back and forth. Very, very rarely is there ever a time where there's a song on both channels that I'm just like, no. Because let's face it, there are times where I don't want to listen to Justin Bieber sing me a Christmas song, and I absolutely abhor Jim Neighbor's voice. And I just, I just can't handle it, you guys. Like, it just does not, it does not resonate in my soul. And I need my Christmas music to resonate in my soul. So, I'm writing about that and how I just keep switching back and forth. And I love Christmas music. You have no idea. Um, I put Christmas music on at work. I'm going to be so sad when the Christmas music option is taken away from us. Um, because I usually listen to Christmas music through the new year. Um, but anyway, I go ahead and get that side of the layout done. And then I'm going to take this wood veneer piece. This came from some assemblage required shop. That is MK's shop. And that is the same MK that I'm doing this series with. And I just take my white gel pen and I'm going to color in the snowflake in the center of this wood veneer to give it a little bit of pop. Like I want the snowflake to kind of stand out, you know? Um, and then I'm going to take this snowflake stencil. This is a stencil from Brutus Monroe. It's from last year, so I don't know if they still have it available, um, but it is a Brutus Monroe stencil. I am going to go ahead and use my gold glitter glaze through that stencil. Now, if you saw a couple days ago, I talked about this piece of paper and how I wanted to put a stencil through it. My original plan was to trim it down to a 4x6 and put it in the bottom of a 4x6 pocket, or, or the top, depending upon which page protector I used. But I just decided to go with this. Now, you did not see my sewing. There is a bunch of sewing on the bottom of this stencil. I just did a bunch of crazy lines, and then I sewed around the outside of this piece of paper as well. And like I said, you might not see that, um, and you definitely didn't see it on camera. Uh, my sewing machine gave me a little bit of a fit. Um, I didn't realize that my bobbin was almost empty and it was just kind of jumping and jamming all over the place. Um, and that it did it for a, a hot second there, you guys. But I finally figured it out. I finally figured out I had to uh, make a new bobbin. And then after I made the new bobbin, I didn't have problems with it after that. But like I said, you guys didn't get to see that. So sorry, because there was drama and me flipping off my sewing machine and all kinds of things. So nobody needed that in their lives. I am going to use this wood-esque uh, number 14 along with the wood veneer. Now, originally, my wood veneer was going to be on that bottom left and the number was going to be on the bottom right. Uh, but ultimately, I decided that I liked it diagonal across from each other a little bit better. Touched up that uh, white gel pen a little bit. And then I'm going to use my Love From Lizzie peel-offs. And I am going to go ahead and fill in that white part uh, of the numbers with this gold strip. And, and that's just going to give it a little bit of pop and a little bit of pizzazz. Now, I am all about the pop and pizzazz, you guys, um, especially in a Christmas project. I love the sparkle. I love the shine. I love all of it. So um, hopefully you are enjoying that as well. Now, um, I will say that um, this number, the, the actual stencils stitches and stencils part of the layout you guys that that doesn't have any journaling there is no journaling on the side this is just a pretty piece of decorative paper it actually ends up being a continuation of the little flippy flappy thing that I did on Whiny Wednesday Live this week um, because it is very color coordinated 
and that's all I have to say about that. So I'm going to go ahead and get that down. I am going to take a minute to take a heat tool and kind of help my glitter glaze dry a little bit. Um, that is because I cannot um, put my paper into the page protector if it is still wet. Now, originally I was going to cut the page protector and I was like, wait a second, Sandy, what are you doing? And like, I'm thinking about it. I don't need to cut this, you psychopath. You just need to, you just need to seal it closed. So I go ahead and do a little bit of drying on that gold glitter glaze. I'm going to glue the two six by six papers back to back. Um, so I don't have to worry about anything being loose or falling apart or anything like that uh, while I am getting this page done. I've got two different kinds of sequins here. I've got a wood grain sequin and also my favorite ultimate gold glitter sequins and I'm going to place those down here at the bottom of the layout. Now I thought I was being real slick and I was using a line on a piece of paper and you know kind of protecting my self-healing mat from the uh, heat tool, but my line ends up being crooked. Now, I could have been like, this sucks, cut open the page prote protector, put the sequins in a new page protector, and start it all over. But honestly, you guys, to me, it's not that big of a deal. If the stuff is a little crooked, it's fine. Most Christmases have something that goes a little crooked anyway, right? Like, nothing is ever absolutely perfect, and I am completely okay with having my album with a little crooked line. So like I, the line is straight, but I don't realize that the page protector is not straight. I am taking a fuse tool. Now I've mixed the two sequins down here at the bottom. I've got the fuse tool and I am following along on the line and I am just going to um, hold a steady pace and a steady pressure to go ahead and melt the two bits together. Now, I usually, when I fuse, I usually do two fuse lines to make sure everything sticks and everything is nice. In this case, I'm not fusing this bottom line. If that pops open and sequins end up on the papers, I'm not, I'm not stressing, right? Like, it's not going to be a thing for me. Um, I do go ahead and um, fuse closed my papers inside of the pockets. And then I'm going to take the same two little mixes of sequins and do the same up here at the top. It is a much thinner uh, band, I guess, of sequins. But after I do that, guys, that is going to do it for this layout. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out Janet's and MK's channels so that you can see what they did for stitches and stencils this month. And I cannot wait to have Christmas, right? Like I'm ready. I'm ready. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Merry Christmas Eve, Eve. And I will see you guys again real soon for another video.